morning, evening, or afternoon, everybody. It's Kaiho coming at you with another video. So today, I want to follow up the successes of Demonology Warlock and sort of explain Demonic Pact and the intricacies of it and a lot of the min maxi things that you can do with Demonic Pact to make it above and beyond most Demo Locks uh, Demonic Pacts. I can proc about a 760 Demonic Pact if everything hits perfectly. While that is very rare, it can happen. And so I wanted to take the time to sort of show you guys how that is possible. A lot of it is gear dependent, but there are a few things that you can do to enable it to happen more often. But before we get into the video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Everything you guys do helps my channel grow, helps me get discovered, and helps me help as many people as possible, which is the entire point of my channel. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So the first thing that we're going to talk about is your basic consumables. So you're going to want to have Potion of Wild Magic. You're going to pre-pop this. You are going to want to have a Flask of the Frostworm. And then you are going to also want Spell Power Food. This is the basic stuff. Um, you're going to put on your uh, Grand Spellstone. Um, you never use the Firestone anymore. You're only using Spellstone. Um, it's just better, but that doesn't really affect your demonic pact. So the min-maxing things that you can do, um, so this is a really unique thing, is have tier 7 because of that casting life tap grants you 300 spirit for 10 seconds. So you have tier 7 on when you're approaching a pull. And then I use item rack for this. Um, there are many other add-ons, but item rack I have I like the best. And so I have my life tap set, and then I have my actual DPS gear. So it's just sort of swapping these four slots. Do not use the gloves because if you are an engineer, you are going to um, mess up your engineering gloves. It'll go on cooldown. So essentially, you use legs, helm, robe, shoulder pads. They can be in any state. They don't even have to be socketed or enchanted, as you can see here because it only matters for that four set passive everything else is adaptive and scales to your current gear so the life tap buff itself right here this scales with your current gear you can test this by swapping on the normal set and then pressing life tap your stuff will not change um, but that extra passive of 300 spirit is why we run this so it's important that you guys do that and then so I'm going to also be running dying curse you can swap this for living flame dying curse has a higher chance to it has more spell power but less hit so this has more hit and uh, consistent spell power so if you want the dying curse will give you the absolute highest but it's up to chance because you need flare to proc dying curse to proc your tailor and cloak enchant to proc you need all three of those things to proc at the same time within that window that you pre life tap to get the absolute highest demonic pact and while your pre pot is still up so there's like a five second window for everything to proc whereas if you run living flame and your uh sapphire amulet of renewal opposed to pendant of fiery fat uh fiery havoc that is what you would swap um living flame would only require flare and your cloak to proc whereas you know you have the risk of dying curse not proccing so it's important that you do that so that's it for the gear and consumable side of things and everything you can swap i'm going to give you guys a sample here of what we're doing and then i'm going to talk about doing packed removal and what you want to do with that oh also make sure you have fell armor that's self-explanatory i kind of missed that but anyway we're going to do a dbm pull of 15 seconds here and I will show you guys sort of what we have. So right now we have our tier 7 on. We are going to pre-pot, pull, and all that fun stuff. Five, four, so we are three, going to two, life tap, consume, one. press F1, and we are going to go. You always cast Shadow Bolt, then you get in here. We're looking to proc everything, and then you're just going to do this. So when you notice your cloak and other things have procced, you are going to look here. So when you have a proc, what you can do is actually remove. So our flare proc, we're going to remove our demonic pact because somehow the game is coded that your demonic pact is going to hit. Um, it does 10% more when you pack weave. So 
it's really weird but as long as you right click the buff off you have a chance for your first proc or your first demonic pack to do 10% more spell power so when you're looking through your stuff if you see two things proc and you know you had a one proc so like this is a demonic pack with just our um this is a demonic pack with simply um flare up if we had a one with the cloak and dying curse up we would definitely go with that one but you just got to be aware of that and whether you click it off on yourself or not because if you mess it up you're going to uh, be sitting there packless for a while so there is room for error but just track your trinket box and when you're using them and that can yield a demonic pack it is coded this way because they did not want you to get spell power off of your own pack so you're essentially your packs can't be uh, multiplicative and scale to infinity otherwise you could get thousands and thousands of packs just because pack would proc off itself so i hope you guys understand that little feature and how it does it's your first demonic pact is 10 percent stronger it just is and so if you manually go up here and right click it which you have to manually go up there and right click it um it counts it as your first pack again it's just how the game is coded um it's a super niche thing that i've discovered um and i've heard about from others and so it is really really awesome and i hope you guys that helps you guys hope you understand it if you have any questions definitely drop it down below and i'll do my best to answer but until next time i'll see you later Bye bye if you made it to the end of this video, thank you so, so much for watching. It truly means a lot to me. If you happen to find anyone that you know would also benefit from watching this video, please, please, please share it with them. It helps me out a ton and allows me to keep doing what I love every single day. And that is gaming and sort of helping people any way that I can. So finally, thank you so much, and I hope you have a fantastic day. Goodbye.